Thank you, God, for giving me the opportunity to love these aspects of myself that I didn't love before, that I didn't know how to love before. Thank you, life, for bringing me these people, for bringing me this circumstance that is showing me that which still needs to be healed and integrated. Thank you so much for helping me to wake up. Thank you so much for helping me to know that my wholeness comes from within. Thank you for this pain, God. Thank you for helping me to be strong enough to love this pain. Thank you for helping me to have the inner courage to know that this pain is here for my, for my evolution. Thank you for giving me the resources and the tools to know that this pain is here to serve me. And thank you for holding me and supporting me while I open to this pain, while I feel this pain, and while I try to love this pain. That is how we handle unworthiness that arises. That is how we handle insecurity. That's how we handle doubt. That is how we handle emotional pain. That's how we handle the the intense feelings that the kundalini is bringing us that we don't really understand and that can feel overwhelming sometimes. We reprogram our, our neurological pathways and our, we literally rewire our nervous system when we bring appreciation and when we bring gratitude for that which is causing us pain. When we bring this type of appreciation and gratitude, what it tells the mind and what it tells the body is that this is a good thing that's happening that this is an opportunity because it is, it's a huge opportunity for healing. When life is bringing you tremendous amounts of pain, know that these are just aspects of yourself that you didn't have the awareness or the willingness or the ability to love in the past. And that these aspects of you that came up, that are coming up, that this is your karma and this is the reason things play out the way they do in your life. So when you unconsciously just when you unconsciously reject these parts of yourself and try to run from them, they keep playing out in your life. But it's when we bring appreciation and consciousness and presence to these painful aspects, that's when they can literally burn away. But it takes a lot of inner courage. It takes the inner strength to know that these feelings are not going to kill you. So as we open to these feelings, as we let them just burn away inside, and as we sit there with them, and as we bring compassion, as we bring acceptance and allowing and love to these painful feelings, what happens is we start to integrate. We start to know that we are whole from within. We start to have the direct experience of wholeness. If there's anything that this path has taught me, it's that the pain is actually here to help me to know who I really am. The pain is here. The pain is bearing gifts. Anytime that there's a lots of intense emotion and lots of intense pain in your body, in your mind, in your life, that is the gold mine. That is the treasure. That is the whole purpose of your sor your source's evolution here. It's to it's to mine that intense feeling. It's to go deep into that wound. It's to go. It's to allow yourself to feel these feelings. You know, we all want to be, we all want to have the feelings of wholeness. We all want to have the feelings of connection to our inner power. We all want to know our purpose. We all want to live with passion. But so many of us, including myself at times, want to avoid feeling difficult feelings. But you can't have all those things. You can't have the passion. You can't have the connection to your power. You can't have the whole, the whole and complete feeling within if you're afraid of feeling your feelings that you don't want to feel. And when our pain is arising, if we, try to, if we try to get rid of it, if we try to escape it, if we try to run from it, it's only going to keep, it's only going to keep returning to us because our outer reality is always a reflection of our inner reality. And if there's unresolved pain and trauma that's coming up and that we're unwilling to sit with and that we're unwilling to show compassion to and that if, if we don't have the awareness to to, sh to be with it without judgment and without trying to suppress it, those, those emotions, those feelings, those energies are just going to show a reflection to us and, and we're just going to keep running into the same cycle, the same issue in the same way. And that's, called, that's, what's, that's what a karmic cycle is. It's unconscious conditioning just running your life and you're, and you're going to replay the same cycle of events over and over again. 
But it's when you bring that present moment awareness. It's when you open your heart to this pain. It's when you surrender deeply into this pain. It's when you allow this pain up that those karmic cycles are broken. And that's when we become a co-creator. But the first, the first phase of becoming a co-creator with the universe, with spirit, is surrender. Initially, in surrender, spirit governs all. So it's essential for you to know this, to know that if you're feeling overwhelming pain, if you're feeling excruciating pain, the only ro role you have is to surrender to the pain, to accept the pain, to sit with your pain. Literally just close your eyes, let the pain arise and keep your body open. Keep your body very relaxed. Keep your body, like let your body melt. Let your third eye chakra, your crown chakra open. Let, let your throat open. Let your heart open. Let your gut open. You know, l let, let your root chakra, let your sacral chakra, let your whole body just go, just be open and just allow the pain to emerge in all its fullness without holding any barriers to it, any boundaries to it. And as you open to it, what you'll notice is this is just energy that wants to move. This is just energy that wants to be felt. This is just aspects of you that want to be acknowledged, that want to be brought into the light of consciousness so that they can know that they are the light. And you as the light, all you need to do is have the inner courage and have the inner intention to sit with these aspects of yourself that you've had a hard time accepting. And let the negativity in the mind play out when you do this. Know that you are not the mind. Let the mind have its movement. Soothe the mind. Tell it that it's going to be okay and that you understand that it's freaking out and to let it freak out and to let it have its fit and its tantrum. But you as the space of pure awareness, you as pure consciousness, you as the divine self that you are, the immortal spiritual being that you are, you sit in the internal presence as all of this pain comes up. And what you'll notice is that something new is, is emerging through you, something more expansive, something more heart centered starts coming through. And the old you, 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 start, you start not even recognizing yourself anymore. You'll look in the mirror and you'll say, who is that? It's because that pain is coming through. That pain is coming through and transforming you into a more into a more integrated being. It, it's, it, this pain, as you let it up, as you feel it, as you let it release from your being, you start remembering who you are. Every layer of pain that comes up, you get one layer closer to the source of who you truly are. Your vessel becomes more clear. You become more of a conduit for source. And all you have to do is just relax. Open your body and let it up. Relax your awareness. Let your awareness go all the way out here, everywhere. Just allow everything to come up and just be with it. Reassure these feelings that I'm here with you now. I know I couldn't love you in the past, but I'm here with you now. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. And just be with those feelings and see what happens. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Namaste.